Anomalocles is a prehistoric turtle that lived during the Cretaceous, it had a distinctive shell structure with two horns shaped that point forward. Like many other animals, they went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, around 66 million years ago, likely due to the catastrophic event that also caused the extinction of non-avian dinosaurs. The exact cause of their extinction is still a subject of scientific investigation. Snapping turtles are known for their aggressive behavior and powerful bite. When threatened, they can extend their necks quickly and bite with great force, capable of inflicting severe injuries. They have a unique mating behavior. Females typically lay their eggs in nests they dig in sandy or soft soil during the spring or early summer. After an incubation period of around 60 to 90 days, the hatchlings emerge and make their way to the water. They are known for their long lifespans. In the wild, they can live for several decades, with some individuals reaching 30 to 40 years of age. Alligator snapping turtles are the largest freshwater turtles in North America. They have a large head with a hooked beak-like snout and powerful jaws. They are solitary and generally inactive creatures. They spend most of their time submerged in the water, lying in wait for prey to pass by. They are well camouflaged and have a specialized appendage on their tongue called a lingual lure that they use to attract prey. They face several threats to their populations, including habitat loss, pollution, and over-harvesting for the pet trade and for their meat. The Chinese pond turtles are primarily diurnal, being active during the day. They are omnivorous, feeding on aquatic plants, small invertebrates, fish and amphibians. They are popular in the pet trade due to their small size and attractive appearance. However, it's important to ensure that turtles in the pet trade are sourced from legal and responsible sources, as unsustainable collection can harm wild populations. The Chinese striped-necked turtles are widely distributed in the subtropical regions of Eastern Asia. Like many other geomidity, this species hybridizes vigorously with related and not so closely related members of its family. It is one of the two most commonly found species used for divination that have been recovered from Shang Dynasty sites, despite the Shang capital being over 1,000 kilometers north of its modern-day distribution range. Chinese box turtles are primarily terrestrial, but they are also capable swimmers. They are omnivorous and when they are attacked, they are known for their ability to retract their head and limbs into their shell for protection. It is considered to be an endangered species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Threats to the Taiwanese population include habitat loss due to expansion of cultivated lands. The painted terrapin is a medium-sized turtle with a unique appearance. Adults typically have a carapace length of around 30 to 40 centimeters. The carapace is flat and elongated, with a dark brown or black color. The head and limbs have bright yellow or orange markings, which give the species its name. Harvesting by fishermen to eat, poaching to meet pet and food demand, habitat loss due to land conversion to palm oil, and fish and shrimp farming are major threats. Communication in tortoises is different from many other reptiles. Because they are restricted by their shell and short limbs, visual communication is not a strong form of communication. 
They use olfactory cues to determine the sex of other tortoises so that they can find a potential mate. Breeding in Hermann's tortoises usually occurs in the spring. Females lay clutches of eggs, typically containing two to ten eggs, in a shallow nest dug in sandy soil. Like other tortoises, they have a relatively long lifespan, with some individuals reaching 70 years of age or more. The pancake tortoise is native to Tanzania and Kenya. Its common name refers to the flat shape of its shell. Most activity occurs during the morning hours or early evening. The diet primarily consists of dry grasses and vegetation. It is a fast and agile climber, and is rarely found far from its rocky home so that, if disturbed, it can make a dash for the nearest rock crevice. The greatest threats facing the pancake tortoise are habitat destruction and its overexploitation by the pet trade. The red-footed tortoise's climate in the northern part of the range changes little day to day and rarely gets too hot for them, so the tortoises do not need to practice any form of dormancy and can often forage all day long. They seek shelter in places that offer thermoregulation and protection from predators. Redfoot tortoises forage over areas ranging from 0.6 to 118 hectares usually making a spiderweb pattern centered on a good hide or a recent fruit fall. Radiated tortoises are known for their distinctive appearance. They have a high-domed carapace with prominent growth rings that radiate from the center, giving them their name. They are known to have a preference for certain plant species, such as Opuntia cactus pads, which make up a significant part of their diet. They are known for their slow and deliberate movements. They are diurnal and spend a significant portion of their day basking in the sun to regulate their body temperature. The species faces significant threats, including habitat loss due to deforestation, illegal pet trade, and collection for their distinctive shells. Megalocheles is an extinct genus of tortoises that lived from the Miocene to Pleistocene. They are noted for their giant size, which is among the largest of any known Testudines, with a maximum carapace length over 2 meters it is a notable genus because it represents the evolutionary lineage of giant tortoises. Its large size is thought to have evolved as an adaptation to its environment and the availability of abundant vegetation. Galapagos giant tortoises are iconic and renowned for their role in Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. The variations in shell shape and size among the different subspecies of Galapagos giant tortoises contributed to Darwin's understanding of adaptation and natural selection. These tortoises are mostly terrestrial but can also enter shallow water. They are known for their slow and deliberate movements. They spend a significant portion of their day basking in the sun to regulate their body temperature and conserve energy. They are herbivores, feeding primarily on vegetation. Galapagos giant tortoises are long-lived, with individuals capable of living over 100 years. Aldabra giant tortoises are among the longest-lived animals. Some individuals are thought to be over 200 years of age, but this is difficult to verify because they tend to outlive their human observers. They are found both individually and in herds, which tend to gather mostly on open grasslands. They are most active in the mornings, when they spend time grazing and browsing for food. Many of the Indian Ocean species were thought to be driven to extinction by overexploitation by European sailors, and they were all seemingly extinct by 1840 with the exception of the Aldabra giant tortoise on the island atoll of Aldabra. The spotted turtle is named for its distinctive yellow spots on a black carapace. They are semi-aquatic, spending time both in the water and on land. They are active during the day and are often observed basking in the sun to regulate their body temperature. 
They are generally shy and prefer to retreat into the water or hide in vegetation when they feel threatened. Habitat destruction, collection for the pet trade, and other human impacts such as vehicle are leading to declines in populations. Due to their aquatic habitat, these turtles are particularly sensitive to pollutants and toxic substances. They will disappear rapidly from areas with declining water quality. Painted turtles are omnivorous, feeding on a variety of food sources. Their diet consists of aquatic plants, insects, worms, small fish, and carrion. They are opportunistic feeders and will consume available food sources in their habitat. They are diurnal and are excellent swimmers, spending a significant amount of time in the water. However, they also bask in the sun on rocks to regulate their body temperature. They are known for their cautious and skittish behavior and will quickly retreat into the water if they feel threatened. The painted turtle's high reproduction rate and its ability to survive in polluted wetlands and artificially made ponds have allowed it to maintain its range. Map turtles of all kinds are avid buskers, spending many hours during the day in the sun. When with other turtles, they also are very communal sharing space and using each other for predator watching, increasing the odds of surviving an attack. The false map turtle is a strong swimmer and prefers rivers and large creeks with moderate currents, containing aquatic vegetation, as well as snags or floating logs. Pond sliders, specifically the red-eared slider, have a distinct appearance, they have a dark green carapace and, as the name suggests, has a red patch behind each eye. It is not considered threatened. However, in some regions where they have been introduced, they can compete with native species for resources and have negative ecological impacts. It is important to prevent the release of pet sliders into the wild and practice responsible pet ownership. The big-headed turtle is known to readily climb over obstacles in and around rivers and fast streams, using its tail as a prop to extend the reach of its strong claws. It also uses its beak to assist in climbing. It has been reported to climb trees and bushes. They are not strong swimmers, and when swimming, this species occasionally arches its tail in the manner of a scorpion. It cannot pull its head in its shell. That being the case, it will not hesitate to use its powerful jaws to defend itself. It is readily consumed in Asia and is frequently a market item. Hunters capture them on lines with baited straight pins, so this species is rapidly disappearing in the wild. Euclasts is a genus of marine turtle that lived from the late Cretaceous to the early Paleocene. It is noted for having a partial secondary palate, and a mouth suited for crushing the shells of armored animals such as crustaceans and shelled mollusks. Osipecalon is known solely from an isolated yet complete skull, 70 cm in length. From the size of the skull, it must have been one of the largest turtles that ever lived. Its feeding apparatus, a bony pipette-like snout, is unique among tetrapods and shares unique convergences with both cygnathid fishes and beaked whales. This animal probably swam near the surface of the warm oceans it inhabited, swallowing large quantities of small fish, plankton, and jellyfish. Examining the bone tissue microstructure of the protostega revealed growth patterns similar to modern leatherback sea turtles with rapid growth to large body size. Leatherbacks don't have a typical reptile metabolism, since they have high resting metabolic rates and can hold a body temperature higher than their surroundings. If protostega had similar bone growth patterns to leatherbacks, it is hypothesized that they both had a similar metabolism. Archelon was one of the largest turtles that ever lived. 
It is estimated to have reached lengths of up to 4 meters and weighed around 1,000 kilograms. It had several adaptations that allowed it to thrive in its marine environment. Its large flippers were well suited for swimming, enabling it to navigate the waters with efficiency. Its powerful jaws were equipped with sharp beaks, which it likely used to crush and consume its prey. Due to the scarcity of fossil evidence, much of the information about the behavior and life cycle of Archelon remains speculative. However, like modern sea turtles, it is believed that Archelon returned to the beaches to lay its eggs. Like other Dermochelids, Mesodermocles had elongated front flippers. One fossil found in Japan's Kagawa prefecture had a carapace estimated to be 1.3 meters in length. Only the neural or spinal scuts, or individual plates, of the carapace are well grooved. It has been described as the best representative of Mesozoic Dermochelids. Alienocales is an extinct genus of sea turtle known from Maastrichtian aged Cretaceous phosphates in Morocco. Its name comes from, unlike other sea turtles, Alienocales the jaws being adapted for a powerful crushing pattern, as well as its unusual cranial characteristics, like having forward facing eyes, as seen in primates. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest living species of turtle in the world. It has a unique shell structure consisting of a leathery skin with embedded bony plates instead of a traditional hard shell. Unlike most other turtles, leatherback sea turtles are primarily carnivorous and feed almost exclusively on jellyfish. They possess several unique adaptations that make them well suited for their oceanic lifestyle. These include their flexible and hydrodynamic shell, a specialized heat-conserving circulatory system, large flippers for efficient swimming, and a unique leathery skin with embedded bony plates. The species faces numerous threats, including habitat degradation, pollution, entanglement in fishing gear, egg poaching, and climate change. The full length of the nickel semis is unknown, but Brinkman made a chart of the length of some parts of the specimen and estimate the size at 60 centimeters long. Its name is a tribute to Elizabeth Nichols, a paleontologist from Canada who studied marine reptiles from the Triassic period. The diet of hawksbill sea turtles consists mainly of sponges, which is a unique feeding specialization among sea turtles. Their beak-like jaws and sharp-edged jaws are perfectly adapted for reaching into crevices and extracting sponges from the reef. Beyond direct consumption for food, many cultures have also exploited hawksbill populations for their ornate carapace shells. Kemp's Ridley sea turtle is the smallest species of sea turtle. It is one of the most endangered sea turtle species in the world and is listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. It has faced significant declines in population due to various factors, including historical overexploitation for meat and eggs, accidental capture in fishing gear, habitat degradation, pollution, and climate change. Olive Ridley sea turtles are relatively small compared to other sea turtle species. They are omnivorous and have a diet that primarily consists of invertebrates, such as jellyfish, shrimp, and crabs. They are known to engage in opportunistic feeding and may also consume algae and plant matter. One of the most remarkable aspects of Olive Ridley sea turtles is their mass nesting behavior called arabatas. During arabatas, thousands of female turtles simultaneously come ashore to nest on specific beaches. These synchronized nesting events often occur at night and can be a spectacle to witness. The nesting process involves digging a hole in the sand and depositing around 100 to 150 eggs. 
After covering the nest, the females return to the sea, and the hatchlings emerge about 45 to 60 days later. Green sea turtles have a large and streamlined body. They have a heart-shaped carapace that is typically olive brown to black in color. They are mostly herbivorous and have a specialized diet. They primarily feed on seagrass and algae, which give their fat tissue a greenish color. They use their powerful jaws to graze on seagrass beds, helping to maintain the health of these important ecosystems. It is listed as endangered, but turtles and their eggs are still hunted for food. Pollution indirectly harms turtles at both population and individual scales. Many turtles die after being caught in fishing nets. In addition, real estate development often causes habitat loss by eliminating nesting beaches. The loggerhead sea turtle is omnivorous, feeding mainly on bottom-dwelling invertebrates. Its large and powerful jaws serve as an effective tool for dismantling its prey. Young loggerheads are exploited by numerous predators, the eggs are especially vulnerable to terrestrial organisms. Once the turtles reach adulthood, their formidable size limits predation to large marine animals, such as large sharks. Untended fishing gear is responsible for many loggerhead deaths. The greatest threat is loss of nesting habitat due to coastal development, predation of nests, and human disturbances that cause disorientations during the emergence of hatchlings. Turtles may also suffocate if they are trapped in fishing trawls. The Indian flapshell turtle is a freshwater species of turtle found in South Asia. The flap-shelled name stems from the presence of femoral flaps located on the plastron. These flaps of skin cover the limbs when they retract into the shell. It is unclear what protection the flaps offer against predators. It is morphologically an evolutionary link between the soft-shell and hard-shell aquatic turtles. Exploitation for profit and habitat change are threats to their survival. Indian narrow-headed softshell turtle is a relatively large turtle with a unique appearance. It has a soft, leathery shell that is elongated and narrow compared to other turtle species. It is primarily an aquatic species, spending most of its time in the water. It is a relatively shy and elusive turtle, often hiding in the substrate or vegetation to avoid detection. It is a strong swimmer and has adapted to its soft shell by being able to move quickly through the water. Chinese soft shell turtles often submerge their heads in water. This is because they carry a gene which produces a protein that allows them to secrete urea from their mouths. This adaptation helps them survive in brackish water by making it possible for them to excrete urea without drinking too much salty water. Rather than eliminating urea by urinating through their cloaca as most turtles do, which involves significant water loss, they simply rinse their mouths in the water.